Hi, Sarione van Ass here with another art journaling tutorial for stencil art. We released a series of four stencils featuring different face angles. Today, I will be using the Sporty Girl stencil to create an abstract portrait. I use wax paper to trace an outline of the face using the stencil. I'm going to use this as a mask while I'm busy creating the background. I'm making use of artboard spray adhesive to attach the mask to the page. I'm making a wash with black free flow acrylic paint by Heritage Craft Paints and some water. I'm just using some of the free flow acrylics with my Crazy Arrow stencil to create some texture. I'm making use of some cosmetic wedges to add details through stencils. I'm using Metallics Acrylic Paints by Heritage Craft Products in Regal Red, Sapphire Blue, Brilliant Gold, Emerald Green and Amethyst. It's very important to remember to dry each layer of paint thoroughly before you add another one. I'm sticking down the scrambled letter stencil with masking tape so that it doesn't move while I add some detail with white Heritage Artists acrylic. I'm repeating the whole procedure, making use of my spiral burst stencil and then Heritage Craft Products dark color. I'm removing the mask so they can start with the details of the face. Again sticking down the stencil with masking tape so that it doesn't move. I place the stencil over the white masked area and spread Heritage Craft Products 3D contour paste in black through the gaps to form raised outline. I used Heritage Craft Products Artist Acrylics in red, yellow and blue to start adding colour to the face. I've decided to just play with all the colours and see where it takes me. You can always change it or paint over it once it's dry. I used my fingers to spread the paint over the larger areas and when I needed some more detail I used a smaller paintbrush. Just remember to keep on wiping your fingers and your brushes on baby wipes or paper towels, otherwise you're going to start mixing colours. I've also decided that it, I think it's a much safer to use the primary colours, red, yellow and blue, to do this kind of thing if it's the first time. Because you can always mix the colours and then create secondary or tertiary colours, where if you start with your secondary or tertiary colours, mix them, you can always get mud. I'm sure you all know this, but I used blue and yellow to mix my green, red and yellow to orange, and red and blue purple. I was pleasantly surprised by the vibrancy of the colours of the Heritage Craft products, as they are not very really expensive.
didn't like the very busy background and decided to push it back with a bit of just the primary colors as well. I also mixed some colors again for the orange, the purples and the green. I didn't have any more space to mix some of the colors so I've decided to just clean up a bit. Um, just a quick tip that you can use hand sanitizer to clean any acrylic paints. Finally I make use of the white and the black paint to add some highlights, shadows and some details as well as the red for the lips. Thank you for joining me. All the products used in this tutorial will be listed at the end of the video and is available at www.stencilart.co.za.